welcome back to another video of part two of part four series of Masters of the Universe mixed uh, Steven, Steven Universe. Um, today I'm drawing from sketch to paint uh, the merman. I just thank the Lord she didn't live to see her son as a mermaid. Merman. Merman! So I'm just filming the video separately for each character. Um, I'm gonna miss these characters. Maybe I might come back to them later. Maybe I might just do uh, Thundercats opposed to He-Man. But I really enjoyed uh, just drawing these characters this way. Now, I'm gonna go over staying on model. And staying on model is really important when you're trying to mimic another design. Now, for as for a character designer, that's what you need to do. If you're given a style, whatever show you're working on, you should be able to copy and adapt to that style, um, making for whether it's props or if you're a layout artist or a character designer, such as myself, you want to be able to um, be able to draw incidental characters, any new main characters that's going to match the style of the show that you're given. So I always like these challenges for myself and I recommend for other people some time of crossing over because everyone likes iconic styles, whether it is He-Man, whether it is Looney Tunes or um, even modern styles like Fairly Odd Parents, like cartoons like that, and, or Teen Titans because it's popular nowadays. But there's something about keeping on model and that's when I really talk about keeping on model it's pretty, it's pretty remarkable if you can keep on model Disney classics like Bambi, like any old Disney movie and, and get a feel for how they drew. I know it's kind of like funny to like describe this, but I don't know, there's some sort of like magic in that. And I really appreciate character designers and people who can draw a variety of things opposed to the same thing all the time. Um, I personally have my own style and I draw it every now and then. Um, but a lot of my style, I do fine art as well. And I do fine art painting. So if there's anything that I draw personally, it's more or less creature, de creature designs. And I do draw furries. Um, but I have a completely different style to my furries than what I've seen. And so I want you guys, and I hope you guys, um, that... This, these small little lessons I can give that can help in any shape or form. But at least you can see my process from beginning to end. Sorry if some of the videos I already kind of have a sketch of the character. But you can see my process um, in a couple of how I did it. Alright, enjoy the video. <laughs> 